power to hit the deck, and he's fouled out. With 28 points and nine rebounds, Jawan Howard, 12 out of 17 from the floor, but he's the second Wolverine to have fouled out. Tom Arthur had a play designed to try to get the ball inbounds and try to draw a foul. You're going to see Dugan Fife running into a screen, but taking the ball to the basket is Brian Parker and drawing the fifth foul on Jawan Howard. And get a possession, get a score, as you talked about, at least come away with some points. That was a well-designed play. They let the ball roll on the inbound to prevent the clock from starting. Then you saw the pick near half court to free a lane down the sideline for Brian Parker. Depending what happens here on the free throws, Pepperdine's going to need a quick steal or a quick foul with 8.3 seconds left. It's important to make these free throws. You get the free throws, at least get under one possession. It gives you an opportunity to now go for that, make that gamble. Two shots for Parker. Big free throw. The Waves within three with 8.3 seconds left in overtime. Ten points off the bench for Brian Parker. Made the second. Michigan with a two-point lead. Jason Bossard has come in for the first time of the game. Rose, and they get the quick foul. James fouled Rose with 7.1 remaining. Dylan Rose normally is a pretty good free throw shooter, 74%, so he's going to have to make at least one of these free throws. And the worst that could happen is a tie if he makes both with seven seconds on the clock. I think it's just about mm -hmm. elementary. Eight for eight in overtime and 17 out of 20 for the game for Michigan. The Wolverines during the regular season, only a 67% free throw shooting team. 85% tonight, and that has been the difference. They've needed every one of those free throws they've made. No Michigan players in the lane. This is a two-shot opportunity for Jalen Rose. Six out of eight from the line tonight, 74% for the year. If he makes this one, it's just about over. Deborah and I would need two possessions again in the final 7.1 seconds. All right, we're following the three-point shot. Four-point lead for Michigan. The Wolverines would be wise to back away from Lopez. He threw it cross-court. Launch at the buzzer, short, and Michigan survives a major scare from Pepperdine. Texas takes on Western Kentucky in about a half an hour. The Chevrolet players of the game, Damon Lopez of Pepperdine, he had 21 points on seven three-pointers. Jawan Howard of Michigan at 28 points and nine rebounds. A check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated to each college's general scholarship fund to further assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. Now let's join Jim Nance in New York. Jim. Thank you, Sean, and I think you said it right. Michigan survives tonight. The first overtime game of the 94 tournament, 78-74 victory for the Wolverines. Missouri has just gone final. This was tied 33-all in the second half, and then Missouri outscored the Middies 43-20 down the stretch. James Madison in Florida tied at 11 with nine minutes to go in the first half. Some will be going there momentarily to see that game, Alabama and Providence, and the Friars have led throughout this game. In fact, as many by as by as much as nine points, but right now it's trimmed to three with 7.49 to go in the first half. Now, here's the next round of games. Again, uh, those of you expecting Alabama Providence, we're going to be sending you there. Others are supposed to get James Madison, Florida. will be joining that game. For those of you expecting to see Wisconsin, Cincinnati, or Western Kentucky, Texas, they're a one-half hour from tip-off, and we're going to start you out with 
Alabama, and Providence. And we'll continue here on CBS On the Road to Charlotte in just a moment. And this is underway, huh? <laughs>